students in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the ducts that are present in the uh, human digestive system all right so in this part we will be talking about the ducts which are found in case of the liver pancreas and the gallbladder all right so we will see that what are ducts and what is the importance of these ducts all right and what are the linkages that these ducts are responsible for linking the organs all right so as you can see on your screen the 3d model with some of the important organs all right we will be labeling these organs first and then we will talk about the ducts and their connection let's start with the ducts part so the ducts of liver gall bladder and pancreas all right so this is our topic now when we talk about ducts or when we say duct so ducts are the passages through which the secretions are transported from one organ to the another organ so these are the passages through which the secretions secretions means the digestive juices or the digestive secretions are passed on from one organ to another organ all right so these are called as ducts and since here we are focusing about the liver gall bladder and the pancreatic duct so we will see that what are the names of the ducts of these respective organs so if you just talk about the duct of the liver so the duct of the liver is called hepatic duct so liver duct is basically considered to be as hepatic duct all right now this is called as hepatic duct because the liver cells are called as hepatic cells and this hepatic duct originates from the hepatic cells only all right so hepatic duct originates from hepatic cells so hepatic duct is going to originate from the hepatic cells which is also considered to be as the liver cells and the function of this duct that means hepatic duct which is originating from the liver we will also see in the model also that where are these ducts localized all right so this hepatic duct is basically responsible for carrying the bile juice which is secreted from the hepatic cells all right so hepatic cells secretes bile juice now as i already told you that they are responsible for carrying the secretion so the secretion which is released from the hepatic cells that means the liver cells that is the bile juice all right and this bile juice that passes through hepatic duct so this was about the duct of the liver now if we talk about the duct of the gall bladder so the duct of gall bladder is known as to be cystic duct so this is considered to be as the cystic duct so if i just label the cystic duct over here like for example if this is the gall bladder so this is the cystic duct so this is the duct of the gall bladder all right so uh, we will see first the individual ducts that means the duct of the liver was called as hepatic duct then the duct of gall bladder is called as cystic duct and the duct that originates from the pancreas so duct of pancreas is called pancreatic duct this is called pancreatic duct so we will now see the 
exact locations of all these ducts all right so for that purpose we are going to bring this model in the center and we will now label all the things individually now these are considered to be as the right hepatic ducts since they originate from the right lobe we know that liver is bilobed having a right lobe and a left lobe so the right lobe is having the right hepatic duct and the left lobe is having the left hepatic duct so this is called as the left hepatic ducts now these right and left hepatic ducts that means the liver ducts they are going to unite together into a common duct which is called as common hepatic duct all right and we know that this part is considered to be as the gall bladder all right this organ is gall bladder now this gall bladder is one such organ which is actually attached to the right liver lobe and gall bladder is one such organ which is actually going to store the bile juice all right because we know that the hepatic cells they release the bile and bile travels through this common hepatic duct only all right so this bile juice is going to travel bile is going to travel through this common hepatic duct only and it is going to get concentrated over here and it is going to get stored in this gall bladder bile over here so the storage part of the bile juice is basically the gall bladder so gall bladder stores and concentrates bile juice which is released from the liver so we know that the duct of the gall bladder is called as cystic duct so this portion is called as cystic duct which is the duct of gall bladder and this you can see over here this is called as the common bile duct common bile duct is a combination of the duct of the gall bladder along with the hepatic duct which is coming from the liver cell all right so this is the case so common bile duct is basically it's the duct of gall bladder along with the hepatic duct which is coming from the liver all right so understand this point so we have seen that there is one common hepatic duct and then there is a common bile duct over here which is a combination of gall bladder along with the hepatic duct that is why it is called as common bile duct all right now we will see the third important duct which is present in the pancreas so let me just erase all the writings from the model so that it will be clear so we know that this is the pancreas pancreas is containing the pancreatic duct this part which you can see over here this slinged part or this sling portion which you can see is basically the pancreatic duct so let me just put all the things together in the figure now so this is representing the pancreatic duct now the bile duct and the pancreatic duct which you can see is opening together into duodenum c this is the duodenum part which is the first part of the small intestine so this is duodenum and this bile duct along with this pancreatic duct they together open into duodenum as the common hepatopancreatic duct which is this part which you can see over here all right so this is the bile duct passage which you can see over here and if i use a different color like for example this one and this one which you can see over here is the pancreatic duct so this one is the common passage 
which is including both the ducts that means hep hepatic duct also and the pancreatic duct also so this is called as hepatopancreatic duct so what is hepatopancreatic duct so hepatopancreatic duct is basically the combination of the bile duct and the pancreatic duct so the bile duct and pancreatic duct opens together into duodenum as common hepatopancreatic duct all right so they are opening together this indicates that all the secretions whether it is coming from the liver whether it is coming from the gall bladder whether it is coming from the pancreas so all the secretions are ultimately going to be linked and released into the small intestine only so that the digestion process could be easily carried out all right so that's why i have told you that the ducts are basically the passage through which the secretions of the organs are released from one organ to into the another organ all right now this uh, hepatopancreatic duct is actually guarded by a sphincter all right so there is a sphincter like this one which is present over here all right so this is actually guarded by a sphincter that means hepatopancreatic duct is guarded by a sphincter called sphincter of odi this is called as sphincter of odi so this indicates that the sphincter of odi is the opening valve through which the secretions that is coming into the hepatic duct and the secretion that is coming from the pancreas they will all together open into the duodenum itself all right so this was all about the ducts of the liver gall bladder and the pancreas thank you